really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool today. It's a 1968 Ford F-250 High Boy. That was a uh, term that Ford never called them, but everyone knows that this year model, especially with the, uh, you can see it's about four inches higher than a normal 4x4 truck. It's got three drive lines, divorce transfer case, heavy duty suspension. You'll see it on the uh, Marty report that I have that everyone calls these a high boy and that's exactly what it is. So pretty rare to find one of these trucks in general. They're very, very sought after. Especially this one here being an original paint. It's never been painted. You can see it really doesn't have any touch up paint at all. It was sold brand new in, at Gentry Ford over in Ontario, Oregon. That's Eastern uh, Oregon. Very, very dry over there. So super neat uh, truck. I got it from a, a gentleman that had it for about a year, but he actually got it from a, a lady that I actually know, and she, I don't even know if she knows that I have it, and I see her on Bring a Trailer uh, sometimes, but she is a big time Ford nut, and she got it in actually in 06, so it'd be interesting to see uh, where she got it. I don't know if she'll pop up on, on Bring a Trailer or not, but great lady, and really notes her, uh, her Ford stuff for sure. So I'm actually proud to have it that she actually owned it for a lot of years from 06 to uh, 2017 so anyways we'll uh walk around it the high boy also came with uh you know like i was talking about heavy duty suspension and stuff they either would come in a 360 or a six cylinder this is a 360 model and so it is a v8 and it just has really beautiful patina it's in lunar green is the color of it and then it is not rusty you know this is surface rust but it is super clean uh, truck the only rust on it is a little bit underneath the battery box and we'll put it up on my lift and it's just a little spot probably a 50 cent size piece but this thing is really really solid so we're gonna go ahead and start with the uh, lights first to show you the lights you see the marker lights headlights brights and the turn signals all work left and right. So that's all working good. So we'll just walk around it a little bit and I'll just show you different things. I love the ring up front here. You'll see some, obviously, some age, some little scratches, some little dings, just from regular road wear. You know, the truck's never been restored. You can see the uh, lights there have, you know, a little cracking in them and you know, I would never restore this truck. I would call it a finished product right now and just drive it like this. You know, you can improve things, maybe better chrome here and different things, but it's just, it's just cool. Super cool. First time I ever saw it, I'm like, I got to have it. So here it is. So we did a lot of work to it in general, uh, a lot of just maintenance type stuff to it. You know, all the brakes are all redone. We restored the engine compartment. Uh, new seat cover, it went through all the, uh, you know, the transfer case oils and stuff like that, put new, uh, you know, resealed those. It's got four tens um, and has new gear oil and everything. So, you know, it's just a great, great running truck. And this is one that you could actually fly home or fly in and uh, drive it home. I mean, it, it drives really nice uh, down the road. So we'll just uh, continue here. You know, obviously you can see little, scratches and little dings it's actually really straight there is a few areas where uh, probably a paintless tent guy uh, did a little bit of work and one of the areas you can see and i wouldn't be able to catch it in the photo very good you, i think there was a little crease right here and you can see just some little little marks where they had worked it out probably something hit the mirror you can see right here well hopefully you can see that just a little arch you have to look close to know what you're looking at there. It just kind of looks like a little mark there, but you know, I believe these are the original mirrors. Really nice here too. Look around the gutter. 
it's not rusty. Yeah, you know, it's usually a bad spot. Windshield looks good. That has been replaced. PPG. You know, down here, look at the bottom of the doors and the fenders, rockers. You're going to be impressed when I put it up on my lift. Very, very clean overall. You know, the bed hasn't been beat up or anything. You know, one area here, usually these get really bubbly on this seam and bubbly here on this seam. I mean, this one is in amazing condition overall. So we're going to go ahead and uh, flip it around so you can uh, get a better look of it in general and on the other side. So we'll flip her around. Here we are, just wanted to flip it around. Actually, if you get on my uh, Instagram page, you can see us driving it when I first got it down the highway. And just uh, on Instagram, you could look at, just type in Denworks, hashtag Denworks or Denworks Survivor Car. And you can see us uh, going down the, uh, the freeway in the rain. A couple of my friends were driving it home for me. So, and you can also check us out on our website, denworks.com, and on Facebook, you can search for us. So, anyways, we'll just uh, go with the lights here in the back. You can see the uh, tail lights work, brake lights. And we got blinkers left and right. And we don't have uh, any license plate on it. Uh, right now and I'd have to double check. I think this yeah, you can see here this little light is actually on And you can see it's got a Barton bumper on it. That was probably put on it when it was new But overall I mean just look at the condition of the paint. It's just perfect There's a little dent right there But you know you and a little dent right there, but you can see it's not rusty no rust around the tail lights or anything they actually look really, really good. You can see a little dent right there. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, it doesn't blow any smoke or anything like that. No rust around the wheel lips. It's running off the gas tank behind the seat. I haven't actually tested uh, that one. You know, the tires are Kelly Safari TSRs. They're an LT, 315, 75, 16. Probably, I don't know if they actually put a split rim on these when, when they were new. So uh, if, if they did, usually they were 16 and a half. But these are 16 inch uh, wheels. You can see here, the date code is uh, 2011. And I'd say that probably the tread was probably 80% or so. They're actually in really good condition. On a couple of the tires, a couple little chunks are taken off on the on the corners, a couple little cut marks, but nothing that's that's bad, just kind of on the edges. So I think I took a couple pictures, or I, I might show it on my video um, when I'm underneath. You can look at the cab corners, really nice. Small in, indention right there, and I think there was Another little indention here. You know, if you look down the sides, actually really straight. It looks really good. You know, again, you're just seeing all the patina, different things, no rust at the bottom of the fenders. Little crease right there. You can see here, there was probably a dent right here, and they just went back and tapped it out a little bit on the front there. If you look down the side here, I just wanted to show you down the side. Looks really good. We'll take a look at the uh, the bed. Really nice bed. You can tell that it hasn't had any heavy loads in it. Just look at the wheel wells. They're not all dented up or beat up or anything like that. Those are actually really clean. Tail like tailgate looks great. Little separation right there, but look inside here. Really amazing condition. Some of the pictures on the auction makes it look a little lighter, but this is really a turquoise truck. Probably in the video is more representative uh, of 
what it looks like. You know, this it's just a cool turquoise look, lunar green, technically. So, anyways, we'll uh, go ahead and show you some more stuff. We'll show us driving it around, get it on my lift, show the engine, all the normal stuff that we do. Hey, we're gonna go ahead and show you the interior. First thing I wanted to show you, the door locks uh, do work, so you can keep your belongings in there. But really an amazing interior overall. Very Spartan, that's just the way they, they made them. You know, just not a lot of creature comforts, but it is really comfortable in here. They had the seat redone, the cushions all done, you know, very nice. You can see back behind the seat, all original paint. So very clean. Dash pad looks great. No cracks or anything in it overall. You can see a couple little cracks on the steering wheel on the uh, typical hub there. But nothing that really affects it from driving, obviously. You can see the odometer says 67,986 probably rolled over at least once but it I mean it could be you know sometimes these trucks didn't get driven a lot you know you look at the pedals they're not all worn out either and obviously the, they haven't been replaced so you'll have to use your best judgment and have any paperwork or anything like that emergency brake works you know look at the door jams very very clean overall originally the truck had kind of a cream colored interior you know, kind of like the steering wheel. I left it black when I got it, it had a black seat. So keep it a lot cleaner that way, but it would look cool if you reversed it, it wouldn't cost very much. It does have new armrest on it. The doors are really clean. When's the last time you've seen a Ford door that clean, not rusty underneath. Original door tag. You know, we'll take a picture of that so you can see it. We'll show you the windows rolling up real fast. See it works. And we'll show you the passenger side real fast. Now Keegan do it for us real quick. You can see there. So those work work good too and the wing wing windows work. So we'll just look at the uh, rubber. You know, it could use new rubber around the door eventually, but I mean it's actually in pretty pretty good shape little cut right there but you know if you want to replace it it's cheap you could do that down the road so we'll take a look at the other side real fast hey here we are on the passenger side again I just wanted to show you the door lock works on this side getting really nice doors I mean, look how amazing that is in original paint no rust underneath really really good Someone did put a aftermarket radio in it, and it does work. This flasher is not working. I forgot to mention, it's four speed, you know, granny low. Obviously there's your shifter for your four by four. Floor mat looks really good. It does have a uh, fire extinguisher. But look at the jams again. This is what's amazing about this truck, all the spot welds, and it's not rusty in here. I mean, that that's an amazing, amazing truck right here. You can see the headliner is a little wavy. I forgot to show real fast, the uh, that light does work. You'll see a picture of it, but you can see that bezel. To turn that light on, it doesn't work by opening the doors. There's, you just turn the knob on the uh, headlight and that light interior light will come on for you so anyways we'll uh, check out some more stuff we're gonna go ahead and take a look underneath the hood there's a little latch right here just lift it up 
It is a 360 V8. It does have, it has been upgraded with a uh, four barrel carburetor. It's an Edelbrock carb and four barrel uh, intake manifold. Originally it was a, a two barrel truck. You can see 360. And we just did a uh, general detail of the engine. It's not rebuilt or anything like that, but it runs really, really good. Put new exhaust manifold, uh, gasket, uh, new donut, new valve cover gaskets, and then we also put a uh, intake manifold gasket on it, flush the uh, radiator system, flush the brakes. You'll see pictures of the all the brakes all redone and stuff. So a lot of just general maintenance, uh, just to make it a nicer driving truck. Did a tune up on it in general. But one of the things in here, you can see, look at the aprons, how clean they are. They're not hit. All the original spot welds look great. You know, there's no bondo on this truck. You know, it has not been hit. Just super, super clean. Really nice radiator support overall. You know, just, uh, just super clean underneath here. Go ahead and uh, fire it up. I just wanted to show you why we're doing that. Hold on one second. Just the hood. Again, you can see all the spot welds. Really, really clean. So we'll go ahead and fire it up. You know, it's not overly loud. It's got dual exhaust. It's actually pretty quiet. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, sounds sounds awesome. So you can see there's no ticks, no rattles, no nothing underneath there. So nice truck. show you just some of the stuff you can obviously see the radio was working and actually I only hear it out of uh, the speaker on the left hand side here so we'll have to look at that maybe something they came disconnected why don't you hit the fan, the fan. you can hear the fans working then you can hear it shift it's actually blowing stuff out over the top and so the fans working you can see all the gauges are working. Uh, oil pressure is really good. Of course, I, I, I'm a car salesman, right? So we don't have hardly any gas in it. So we'll put a little gas in there, not too much. You can see I already stole the floor mats. Um, horn works. You can see this choke is actually not hooked up because it's got an automatic choke on it now. And I'll also show you the wipers real fast. They work. The reason it stalled there a minute ago because I had it halfway in between. You can see the cigarette lighter lights up hot. And I haven't seen any signs of people smoking in here or anything like that. And I'm not gonna take it up soon. So uh, you can use your USB. Uh, blinkers, oh, you can see those work on the dash. And the other thing I want to look at real fast for you is the uh, I don't see, and I don't actually see where it would be. Oh, right in the center. It's hard for you to see those right below 50. There's a little red uh, light up there. So that's working as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, drive it. You don't have to take off in first because it's granny gear. So we'll just take off in second. You know, this truck drives so smooth. Obviously it's a truck, but it is a very smooth running truck. Like I mentioned before, I mean, listen to a shift. Very nice. You know, it's just a cruising machine. And we've taken it on the highway 65, 70 miles an hour all day long. So, I mean, just look how smooth it is. You know, it, it doesn't have power steering, but honestly, it's really not uh, that hard to steer in general. Um, the turning radius, especially with the bigger tires on it, is uh, you know a little wider than normal. But overall, 
It's just a uh, great driving truck. I'm going to lay on the brakes here in a minute uh, after we get through these turns. But you know, right now we're probably going about oh, 60 miles an hour. You know, it's just very smooth. I got the window down so you hear a little wind noise. But I'll go ahead and put the brakes on right about now. It actually stops nice and straight. I got my hands off the wheel. So it actually drives, it's, it's just awesome. And this would be one of those trucks, you know, if I, I said I wanted to keep something this year, this would be it. I mean, it's, it's an amazing truck in, in general. So we'll cruise around a little bit more. You can check out some of the farms out here in Oregon and enjoy yourself. real fast underneath obviously you're gonna see all the still photos and stuff but it is nice to do a video in general poke at different things look at different things in general so we'll just start here from the front to the back as I said before this is a uh, factory high boy and I will show you uh, some of the items in general but a lot of times we're just looking at suspension we're looking at you know things that we did and structure you know this thing is really amazing overall it's got drums in the back drums up front we did uh, some service work to it resealed the uh, front axle you can see the original tag is still on there it says 409 and the rear one is a 410 original tag hopefully you can see that it says C8TA just for a little quick reference, C is for 1960, 8 is for 68, and T is for truck. Um, so if it said C9, that would be incorrect because that'd be 69. And the same goes for you know 70s uh, rigs. It would say uh, if it was a 70 or something like that, it'd say D8. So it's got the original front end and rear end in it. You can see here the axles or the uh, springs are very arched. You know, the high, high, high boys all were arched in the front, what gives you the lift. It does have Rancho shocks on it. I believe those are Rancho 5000. I'm not 100%. There is the, uh, right there, RS5014. I'll actually look that, that up. Shocks are in really good shape. You'll see a little bit of seepage on different things, but pretty typical for a really original rig but you can see here the uh, steering box is actually fairly dry I imagine it leaked at one point probably someone sealed it but no uh, evidence of any new leaks or anything like that we did a minor detail of the engine it had really oily um, valve cover gaskets and intake which we have already replaced intake manifold gasket so what's really amazing here is look at the floors the rockers really amazing condition you can see the drains aren't plugged look at the back of the cab actually if we took a little wax we could uh, shine that up back there if we wanted you can see there the back of the cab is really nice even up in here you can see it's really clean all the original spot welds
very, very clean. Look at the bottom of the fenders. You know, obviously you're gonna see a little bit of surface rust in general. You know, just a lot of patina. You can see here the, the cab mounts look good, bushings look good. You can see here, you've still got the uh, factory little plastic in between the, uh, the mount. The other thing that the high boys had was three drive lines. Rear end's a Dana 60. You can see the, it's got a divorce transfer case. You know, a lot of the other ones, uh, the transfer case is connected to the transmission, but you can see here it's got three drive lines, rear, one from the tranny to the transfer case and then to the front. We did change the uh, side cover there. That's what the date is on it. A little seepage in general, but again, pretty clean. The other thing is on the high boys, the uh, these are two and a quarter. Um, later on I think there's about a four inch difference in the uh, height between a, a high boy but you got two and a quarter there on the spring and the uh, later ones had uh, three inch so on these ones definitely probably more stacked you know we'll take a look at the bottom of the bed back of the cab here bottom of the fender looks good Tires are from 09. You can see right there the date. They actually look really good. I won't get into them too much because I showed it, you uh, them earlier, but I did notice on the front one there's a couple little chunks out of the corner. And I'll go up there in a minute. Got dual exhaust. Here's the rear axle. C8TA again and 410. And we did uh, paint this. It's got new gear oil in the front, new gear oil in the back. Brakes, we take the brakes. They're all brand new around it. Cylinders look good, they're not new. But we flushed the whole system. Everything's in really, really good condition. Same shocks here in the rear. You know, no signs of any major accident damage or anything. Frame is really good. I'll go up here real quick and show you this tire up here nothing i would do about it i'll have to find it here you know just little little tiny chunks you can see a little spot there a little gouge in the tire but that's just on the tread you know nothing's in the sidewall or anything like that and i thought there was one more little spot and i can't find it but overall the tires in great uh, condition overall so anyways hopefully that gives you a good look underneath in general um, this is a no reserve auction so the top bid is going to get it and if you got questions just uh, email me make comments and have a fun time bidding